Hello everyone, this is Eric, your Revit Tutor. If you want to learn more about Revit, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. Or if you have questions about Revit, flick an email to yourevittutor at gmail.com. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a, an area parameter, sectional area parameter that um, automatically calculates the cross-sectional area of an SHS or square hollow section or RHS, rectangular hollow section. The best thing to do to uh, create a family or edit a family is to start from a, a known template, structural template, and draw a steel beam, which is an SHS, for example. We have uh, HSS here, or SHS, whatever you call it in your country. So let's draw it. And let's, um, so that you can see, let's, um, set the detail level to fine so you can see that this one is an SHS and on 3D we can see that it's an SHS. Now what we need to do to revise this family is to edit, to double click it and it opens the family editor and this is our um, SHS and let's open the properties of this of this SHS and as you can see we have here the dimensions of this SHS um, but the section area of this uh, particular particular section is just uh, typed here it's not driven by formula so our goal here is to create a parameter, an area parameter, that will automatically calculate the cross-sectional area of um, the beam of this SHS based on or from the from these given parameters here. So what we're going to do is to uh, ref uh, create parameters uh, using uh, single-letter um, parameter names and reference this to these existing parameters. So let's try to open our Excel here because I've already created an Excel file. And we have D, B, and T for the uh, width, height, and the nominal thickness. So let's create a parameter, a length, length and under dimensions, and let's set that as a D and then click OK and um, d is equal to height so let's copy height and then paste it here now let's create another one which is b which stands for the the width and then click ok and um, copy width and paste and the next thing is the wall nominal thickness. Let's set it as uh, T. Okay, so create another one. Type T, click OK, and then let's copy wall nominal thickness here. Paste it here. Okay, and uh, let's uh, move this one up. Okay, now, <clears throat> The next thing that we need to add are the inner fillet and the outer fillet. Actually, this uh, this won't matter much with regards to our uh, formula for cross-sectional area. But um, <clears throat> for the sake of uh, for the sake of convenience, when you're looking at your your um, properties window, you might need or you might want to see every parameter that you want in just. Uh, one uh, section or area of this uh, window. So let's reference also the inner and outer fillet. Okay, for inner fillet, we can also type inner fillet, but uh, we can use a small f uh, letter F for fillet, so it won't um, mess with our 
existing one because the the existing one is um, capital F uh, let's see what happens if we type capital F for inner fillet see it will prompt an error a parameter with the name inner fillet is already defined so in Revit we can trick uh, Revit by just making it small letter because it uh, Revit will count that as another parameter will uh, because it's a small letter F so that's uh, easier so let's uh, click inner fillet okay and then um, select another uh, create another one which is outer fillet and same thing let's create um, f uh, small letter use small letter for fillet and then click OK and let's just copy inner fillet here and outer fillet here in our formula bar now um, let's move this down because uh, the most important ones are the ones that we we want to see at the top so okay so maybe we're we're ready okay now uh, let's um, but before that let's uh, click apply and okay and set our unit type un on your keyboard un and <clears throat> set our unit for area to square millimeters and uh, set that to zero decimal places okay okay and then let's go back to the properties and um, let's create an area parameter and um, assign a let's say a okay let's a and here under type parameter let's select area and under group parameter under uh, let's um, for the ease of looking at the window let's put it also under dimensions so that when you look at your window at your properties window it's all in one place so dimensions all right now let's type ok and let's move this downwards I want to see it uh, under thickness so that's it and now let's type the formula what's the formula for the area cross-sectional area of the square hollow section or rectangular hollow section well basically it's just the area of the big rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle inside this the hollow section so we will just subtract the area of the hollow area from the total area of the section and that gives us the area the cross-sectional area of the steel of course there are some discrepancies because of the fillet but we um, we will neglect that for the sake of this example but if you want if you want to really calculate it as accurate as it is you can you can actually consider the inner and outer fillet but uh, the formula will be longer but um, the answer will be almost the same because it's almost negligible all right now our um, formula is this um, area uh, equals uh, d times b minus b minus 2 times t times d minus 2 times t okay that, let's copy that and paste it here and let's see let's change first our our given so we have d equals 500 and uh, our b is 200 and the thickness is um, 12 so the answer is 16224 square millimeters which is the same as this one 16224 so that's how to make a uh, family a square hollow section family that automa automatically calculates the cross-sectional area so now we can reference the section area to the a or area that we have calculated 
so you won't need to type manually it will automatically calculate it so that's how we we do it so on the next video uh, I'll show you how to do it on a circular hollow section um, the idea is the same we will uh, subtract the area of the hollow hollow part of the circular hollow section from the total area so that will be uh, almost the same but I will add something like the uh, how, how are we going to add some some additional properties here like for example the um, moment of inertia or if you want if you want to calculate the, the weight how do we calculate the weight and how do we uh, automatically calculate it and show it in the parameters so I'll show it on the next video thank you for watching